Hello and welcome, welcome back to another Django Pro tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to install the Django. Uh, so the first thing we need to do as we discussed before before we sell, install any packages is actually set up a virtual environment. So we're going to set up a virtual environment for our Django template. The template is going to be what we build most of our Django projects off of. So we want to set up a virtual environment for that. So let's get started. Uh, open up your terminal. I got mine open up here. Um, first thing we want to do is go to our Django folder that we created in the last tutorial, I believe it was. So we'll go ahead and uh, CD for change directory to uh, desktop and then Django. Yours may be a little different uh, if you set it up differently than I did. <clears throat> now we want to create a virtual environment for uh, our template. Uh, each project, if you will, should have its own little virtual environment because each projects can probably have different packages. So we want to set up our own little uh, environment for our um, template. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is just type virtual EMV template, just like that. So virtual EMV is the command telling virtual EMV the package that we want to start a new virtual environment. And then template is the name of our virtual environment. So when I hit enter, it's going to go ahead and go through the process. It's going to create a couple files, bin, lib, include, and it's also going to install setup tools and wheel. So as it's going through that, uh, our next step is going to be um, we're going to change it into the virtual environment and we're actually going to install Django. All right, And we're going to use Django uh, 1.10.2. That is the latest version. Um, if you guys are watching this video down the road, I suggest that you install the uh, install not the latest version. Uh, install Django 1.10.2 uh, for this tutorial series because if they come out with a later version, some things might not work. Uh, but if you're watching this at a later date, you can probably look, and we probably will update our Django tutorials if things have changed. So there we go. We got our virtual environment set up. <clears throat> All right, so there's two ways to get into our virtual environment and activate it. Uh, the first one would be CD template, all right? And then we could do, uh, well, if you do LS, it's going to show that this is where bin is. So we can do our source bin backslash activate, just like that. All right, so you see the parentheses and template over here. We're in the virtual environment. I'm going to deactivate mine real quick to show you another way, and we're going to go... Uh, Oops, I spelled deactivate wrong. Deactivate, there we go. Uh, clear my screen real quick. And then um, we're gonna CD back one. And we're gonna do uh, CD template and then uh, source bin activate. So this is another way to do it. So you can change into the directory and the two um, end symbols and then source bin activate. So when you put these two end symbols, one command's on the left hand side, one's on the right. So we can combine or chain two commands together. So I just do that. There we go. I activated my uh, uh, virtual environment. So sweet. We got a virtual environment set up for our template. Now, the next thing we need, and one of the most important things we need to build a Django uh, project is Django itself. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we've talked about pip. We saw how we install virtual EMV. Uh, same process. So we're just going to do pip install Django. And then we're going to do uh, equal equal 1.10.2. Now, <clears throat> if you're daring, you can leave off the equal sign and the version at the end here. And you can go with the latest version. But I highly suggest you follow along with the current version that we're showing here just so you don't run into issues. Like I said before, if, if things change down the road, we'll do another tutorial series. But for now, just follow along. There we go. Now this is gonna install Django for us. Um, should be rather quick, there we go. So it's collecting Django, and it's gonna go ahead and install it. You know, once we get to successfully install Django, we're good to go. Just waiting on that. Now, if you run into issues here, if you go to install, 
um, here and you get an error message. A couple things to think about is, number one, your PIP's probably not up to date. Uh, number two, you might not have the late, latest version of Python installed. Uh, if you're still having issues, Google's a great source to figure out what the issue is. If not, you can always ask me via YouTube and I will help you. So we got successfully installed Django. All right, so we're good to go. Uh, jump, in, jump over to the next tutorial where we install a text editor. And once we install the text editor, we can get started working on uh, Django. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next